What's going on guys, Bungsuman here and welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition video and today guys we are back with some more Sky Factory 3 and I'm super excited for today's episode because we're gonna be making something that's really going to improve our gameplay and we're gonna be able to progress much better in uh, the mod and I'm super excited for that and of course if you guys are still enjoying this Sky Factory in Minecraft Pocket Edition make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new and without further ado, let's get into today's episode. So guys, as you saw in the previous episode, to pretty much progress in this mod, we need to get an insane amount of dirt to get the cobblestone, and we pretty much work from the cobblestone, because we can turn it into gravel, the sand and the dust, and pretty much uh, get all sorts of uh, the different metals and stuff, that we're gonna use uh, to pretty much uh, make some machines and stuff. But of course, we're definitely going to automate this whole process later on, but for now we need to make something that's going to make our life like a thousand times easier and you may be wondering what it is and as you can probably tell by the title we're gonna be creating a cobblestone generator and that's something that's pretty much basic for any uh, kind of skyblock or something like that but you may be wondering how on earth are we going to get lava and how can we make a uh, cobblestone generator with all of this uh, wood around, isn't it just going to burn and everything. But I've been grinding like crazy off camera since I don't have any bone meal, I pretty much can only wait for these trees to grow and uh, pretty much harvest them. So that's what I've been doing and luckily I managed to get like 10 of uh, the giant trees. So they've been providing a lot of the uh, saplings to turn them into the dirt. And you can see we have uh, some more over here. So we're definitely going uh, to grab that. And uh, pretty much there was another thing. I had like three chests worth of uh, the little silkworms. And apparently we were able to actually make uh, dirt out of them. And I was kind of getting them uh, passively from just dropping down the trees. And I managed to make a bunch of dirt uh, from them. But you can see in this chest we pretty much have like uh, over uh, 3 stacks and a half or something like that of the dirt. And we're definitely gonna be all of that. So pretty much we are also good on uh, the food so we don't have to worry about that. And we're pretty much going to start today's episode by sifting an insane amount of uh, the dirt. And believe it or not this actually took an insane amount of the time because I don't have any bone meal. I can't make uh, trees grow faster. I can pretty much just sit and AFK over here until they are all uh, done. But I'm going to sift all of this dirt and I'm hoping to get a specific item out of this. But if not we are pretty much going to be good with uh, the stone pebbles. Because we need to get an insane amount of uh, the uh, cobblestone. And there we go, we just finished sifting all of that dirt and we have insane amount of uh, the pebbles and this is the item that I was looking for. You can see that we have a chance to get some seeds, these are just uh, normal seeds that we're gonna be using later on. But this is what I was looking for, you can see the chance is really slim but we managed to get 3 grass seeds. And as you know there is no uh, grass or dirt or anything like that because this is just a void world and we pretty much started from a single tree. And these grass seeds are the only way to actually get uh, the grass in the game. So if you just kind of click them on the dirt we are going to get uh, the grass and that's definitely going to be useful later on. But we are pretty much going to save those guys and uh, just kind of put them uh, right there. And apparently there is some bug with uh, the... Uh, Stacking of the items over here, but you can see if I put them in the chest and bring them back They're going to stack normally, but what we're going to do is create an insane amount of uh, the cobblestone So let's just go ahead and uh, create all of that Like so and there we go We have almost uh, two sta two, uh, one and a half stacks of the cobblestone Sorry and guys, I'm so sorry if I'm talking like too fast. I'm so so excited to play this mod I never actually thought that this was possible in Micro Pocket Edition, but here we are playing the Sky Factory and I'm super excited for this and I hope you guys are enjoying the video. But now you may be wondering how on earth are we supposed to actually get uh, the lava and make the cobblestone generator. That's what this cobblestone is all about. So we're just going to uh, pretty much go grab our hammer and let's see where do they put it. It's probably somewhere in uh, the chest. So let's uh, just go ahead and grab that guy and we need to turn the cobblestone into the dust and that way we're gonna be able to get uh, some clay. So we need to pretty much uh, get uh, the uh, 
uh, gravel over here this is going to turn into the sand and I should probably put this uh, somewhere over here let's just uh, kind of clear the inventory so we get uh, the sand in our quad bar and there we go we're going to get some sand and finally once we do this one more time we're actually going to get uh, something called the uh, dust and this dust is absolutely amazing and in PC version you can pretty much save this and get like bone meal and stuff but over here it doesn't seem to be the case or it may be like bug I've tried a couple times and I pretty much didn't get anything but that's not the only use for the dust we pretty much need to grab ourselves the dust and go to the little wooden barrels that we have that are filled with water and if you click it right there you can see that we're actually going to go ahead and grab ourselves some clay and this is pretty much the way that we're actually going to be able to make uh, lava and we pretty much need to go ahead and break these guys into uh, the balls uh, like that and hopefully we got seven and there we go we have eight so that's pretty much all we needed but now we actually need to go ahead and make a furnace and this is something called clay crucible and we need to pretty much uh, grab this guy and actually smelt it so pretty much right now as it is this crucible is pretty much useless because we need to actually uh, smelt it and let's just maybe use uh, some planks over here I probably have uh, some coal in the chest but yeah one piece we are not going to waste it on uh, just one item so once this melts we are actually going to get something called a crucible and this is absolutely amazing and it's a great thing because if you just uh, kind of place it right here you are not going to be able uh, to actually use it because it has to be over some kind of the heating element and in our case only way of uh, the heat and uh, that we have is actually uh, the torch so we need to actually place it on uh, top of uh, the torch and uh, not right there I'm really hoping that we can actually break that with uh, the uh, wooden pickaxe but I'm not going to try that because uh, I really don't want uh, to break it so let's uh, just go ahead and use uh, the pick uh, like uh, that and we need to pretty much kind of go uh, over here and place it on top of uh, the torch if you can there we go and you may be thinking why on earth do we need uh, to put it in uh, on top of uh, the torch the reason for that is because it has to be on some kind of the heating element obviously the torch is not going to provide like uh, a ton of uh, the heat the best we can actually do for the early game is actually lava so it's going to smell the items a little bit quicker but the way this works is absolutely incredible we need to use our cobblestone and put it inside our uh, crucible just like that and seems like one uh, piece is going to do uh, the trick so once this uh, smelt this cobblestone is going to turn into the lava and because we only have uh, the torch it's not going to smelt uh, that fast so we definitely have uh, some more uh, work uh, to do maybe drop some more trees until uh, this is done but once it's done it's going to turn into the cobblestone and we're going to be able uh, into the lava sorry and we're going to be able to make ourselves the cobblestone generator Obviously again if you had like lava or some other kind of the heating element this would actually be done a lot faster But now there is one little problem and that is that we don't have any kind of uh, the bucket And I have been doing a lot of the research of camera And I pretty much kind of know a little bit of uh, the mods but I'm still not an expert and you guys can actually help me a little bit in the comments if you actually know about uh, the mods and stuff definitely let me know some tips and tricks and stuff but I pretty much know a lot of the things for at least uh, this episode and the way we actually get uh, the iron is uh, by turning the cobblestone into the gravel and uh, sifting that and pretty much we need an insane amount of uh, the cobblestone and also I figured out uh, the way to actually get uh, the ingots and stuff and in the previous episode we actually got ourselves some uh, copper dust and the way to actually get uh, the copper is by smelting this dust over here but we pretty much need to go to the our little sieve and sift uh, the gravel over here and we have a chance to get some of uh, the different kinds of uh, the metals as you can see over here we got ourselves uh, some gold we have some iron and pretty much we need to go to the furnace to the uh, crafting table and we need to make the iron uh, gravel over here and as you saw in the previous episode we had uh, the copper gravel but we need to place that right there and actually go ahead and use the hammer on it and that way we're going to get an iron slag 
Then go ahead and put this into the crafting table and make something called iron dust. And finally the last thing is to put the iron dust right into the furnace. Alright, seems like our game didn't actually like that and it uh, unfortunately crashed but we are back on and seems like we kind of went back in time because I haven't chopped this tree and it was grown uh, the last clip and also I had to make a new furnace over here. So we are just going to put the iron dust right there and we can maybe put like a hook or something maybe let's just uh, put a couple of chests over here i'm not really sure and that's going to smelt into the iron ingot and as you saw this is kind of the process but we need to get some iron over here for uh, the bucket so that way we're going to be able to transport our crucible and we are back everything is back to the normal crucible is fired up and ready to go and it <laughs> looks like the lava just turned so this is pretty much the way we actually get uh, the lava and as you can see I prepared some cobblestone to pretty much uh, mine it and uh, turn it into the gravel so we can get uh, some more iron to uh, make a bucket and pretty much be able to transfer this but we got ourselves a uh, one bucket of lava over here we have this one filled uh, with water so we're gonna be able to make this and I really wish we had like a vein miner or something because it would be a lot easier to pretty much grind this cobblestone down but now we just need to do it normally block uh, by block and I really wish that we can automate automate this uh, stuff but it's going to take a little bit because getting the cobblestone generator and the cobblestone itself is pretty much the goal of today's episode and we can pretty much work from that because it's going to take a little bit before we can automate this stuff and put this all uh, behind us but in first couple episodes this is what we have to do and looks like all of our tree is growing and is this uh, lava actually going to spread to this uh, let's just make sure that nothing is going to catch on fire because we really don't want our base to burn out because it's entirely made out of uh, the wood so let's just go ahead and grind some more of this, get enough iron and let me build some kind of the cobblestone generator. Some sad news is that we actually lost our little grass seeds but I'm definitely going to grind a little bit and get that off camera. But as you can see from sifting gravel we actually get some uh, tin, we can get gold, iron, we can get uh, copper and uh, some lead over here. So that's going to be a real nice once we start creating uh, the machines. But let's just uh, wait for this iron and there we go. We can go ahead and uh, create the bucket over here. And uh, pretty much to kind of decide where we're actually going to put this. Because I am going to have to build this out of the cobblestone. And I don't really want to use that much because we are definitely going to need it. But I guess we can use all of this because we're technically making a cobblestone generator to generate more cobble. So maybe this makes sense to use all of the cobble but I'm just going to make a little platform over here maybe and uh, we can see what can we do. I created something over here and it's definitely looking like some kind of the cobblestone generator but it's not uh, done yet. And a lot of you guys probably thought that we're just going to do some kind of the simple normal standard one block cobblestone generator. But no this is my design and I pretty much made this in creative and I was kind of thinking how can I use the one bucket of water and one bucket of lava at uh, the full potential and this is something that I came up with and this is going to definitely beat your standard and uh, simple cobblestone generator but before we do anything over there we need to grab some resources and pretty much need to grab a little bit of uh, the wood over here we don't really need uh, that much we just need enough to kind of make uh, some ladders and uh, let's just go ahead and create this into the sticks like so and where, where are the ladders okay there we go i think this should be more than enough nine uh, should do uh, uh, just fine then uh, let's just go ahead and actually put uh, some of them right here and i think this is actually going to be enough so you can see this is just kind of this solid uh, rectangle of uh, the uh, cobblestone and the way we're actually going to do this is really simple. So we're using kind of the uh, pretty much uh, physics of uh, the water and uh, the lava. You can see the when we place the water of bucket or the lava they actually spread one block at either side and when you're doing the normal cobblestone generator you just have one block and it kind of goes this way but we're going to use that little uh, physics and stuff to pretty much uh, kind of 
triple this in a way and this is going to be absolutely amazing and I'm really terrified of uh, falling down here but we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves uh, the bucket of uh, water over here and we pretty much need uh, to dig this space a little bit over here and let's just go ahead and dig this all the way down so we pretty much can go like uh, two layers I believe and we can't go any uh, further I don't think let's just uh, check this out because I would like to actually go one block uh, further and yeah we can definitely go one more uh, block over here then one block uh, below uh, the top we're actually gonna go ahead and place some ladders now in uh, the latest update I am using the uh, signs for this but apparently because we are in the lower uh, version of the Minecraft right now pretty much we can't have the signs over here because they would immediately burn uh, by uh, the lava so what we need to do is uh, go down here and uh, pretty much go ahead and uh, dig this layer of uh, the cobblestone over here so you can see we need to keep that layer right there because if you don't have this the water will just kind of go uh, downstairs but because we have uh, kind of secured the water over here and when we place it in the middle you can see it's going to spread to do uh, to those uh, two blocks right there then we can just go ahead and uh, pretty much break this and the water when you're creating the cobblestone generator needs to go one block uh, down then we need to place uh, the lava right here but you, because we have uh, the ladders right here you can see it's actually blocking uh, the water right there so that's a really nice thing then we need to actually go ahead and uh, place the lava on uh, these blocks over here so we're gonna have to secure this again and uh, pretty much destroy these blocks over here and I know at the top is not symmetrical because we're using two blocks for the water and only one on this side for uh, the lava but from uh, the uh, down below over here it definitely looks uh, symmetrical and we're going to make this look a lot better once we have more resources but our lava should be right there and I'm pretty sure we can pick it up there we go and it looks like uh, we can only get like one bucket and let's actually put another cobblestone piece maybe we're going to need uh, the lava for something but let's uh, jump right over here and again place it in uh, the middle block and it's going to spread to those uh, three blocks right here then we can actually go ahead and uh, make uh, some slabs and do I have any on me? no I don't let's uh, just go to the crafting table and make uh, some slabs over here to kind of secure this and not actually fall in a lava right there and there we go let's uh, grab some slabs and this is fully cobblestone build so definitely kind of fits with the theme of cobblestone <laughs> generator so let's uh, just cover this lava so we're not going to accidentally fall in this and yeah why not let's just uh, cover the uh, water over here as well these blocks are pretty much what we need to dig and as you can see if you just go like this all of the cobblestone is actually going to end uh, right uh, back there and you can see we can just kind of go along and pretty much once we finish all of the cobblestone over here the another layer is going to appear right here so this is in my opinion the best cobblestone generator for uh, the beginning it's using only one bucket of lava and one bucket of water so this is definitely and 100% the best cobblestone uh, generator that you can make so you can see we can uh, kind of break uh, the blocks down there we can go down here and pretty much uh, collect all of them and as you can see we already have 35 uh, cobblestone to our name really simply and we don't have to go and uh, mine the dirt and everything because that's uh, pretty much a little bit uh, boring if I'm honest and it's definitely going to take a lot uh, less time over here so we can just go ahead and pretty much grind on this and I'm definitely going to do a lot of the grind of camera to kind of get all of the iron stuff and uh, kind of prepare for uh, the next episode but as you can see we can just go ahead use the stone pickaxe because it is a little bit faster and as you can see pretty much again once we finish this line another line is going to appear so we just need to make sure that we don't uh, mess something up and dig uh, like these blocks over here or something like that but you can see that we have a nice amount of uh, the cobblestone and it seems like we're actually picking it all uh, by just standing over there so maybe we don't even uh, need this thing but I'm definitely going uh, to keep it right here for now uh, because there may be a chance to have a couple pieces fall right here but as you can see it's not really the prettiest thing and 
I mean, the cobblestone generator is uh, kind of looking really nice. It is all made out of the cobblestone. But we're definitely going to make this a lot better. And at some point, we're probably going to automate this process. But I'm pretty happy what, uh, with what we uh, managed to do in today's episode. And this was definitely the goal. So I think on this note, we're actually going uh, to end uh, the episode over here. So yeah guys, that's gonna do it for today's episode, we managed to uh, pretty much finish our goal of creating the cobblestone generator and again in my opinion this is the best cobblestone generator for the start and this is going to help us an insane amount because this is the best way to actually get the cobblestone right now getting uh, the cobblestone by chopping the trees and turning it into dirt, sifting dirt it was an insane uh, process and it takes a long time and this is actually going to take no time at all to get stacks upon stacks on uh, the cobblestone and I'm definitely gonna have to grind a little bit of camera but as I said, I this is going to be the end of the episode and I really hope you guys have enjoyed it and if you did, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new I hope you enjoyed, thank you so much for watching and peace out.